Attention, Singaporean motorists. A new development at the Singapore-Malaysia border may change the way you travel across these busy land crossings. A recently surfaced photo has sent shockwaves among frequent drivers to Malaysia, revealing how Malaysia's Vehicle Entry Permit, or VEP system, is being used to monitor and enforce traffic fines. In this specific photo, taken at one of the two land crossings between Singapore and Malaysia, a digital display highlights a vehicle attempting to pass the checkpoint with an outstanding, unpaid fine. The system has flagged the vehicle, and the display shows PDRM, short for Polis Diraja Malaysia, indicating involvement by the Royal Malaysia Police. What's particularly attention-grabbing is the technology behind this monitoring. The RFID tag, part of the VEP system, which tracks any unpaid summons tied to foreign vehicles. It's unclear if the vehicle in question was registered in Singapore or Malaysia, but this tracking technology could bring significant changes to enforcement at the border. Up to this point, over 35,000 unpaid summonses, amounting to RM 3.5 million, or 1 million Singapore dollars, have been issued to Singaporean drivers between 1990 and June 2024. Despite these numbers, Malaysia has been unable to efficiently track down vehicles to enforce fines, leaving many offences unresolved. With the introduction of the RFID system, which is now installed on all foreign registered vehicles entering Malaysia, enforcement is likely to get stricter. This new level of tracking means fines may be enforced more systematically. So, what does this mean for drivers entering Malaysia with outstanding fines? If you've racked up any unpaid summonses, now might be the time to address them. For convenience, Malaysia's authorities have set up multiple ways for motorists to check and pay fines online. The MyBayer PDRM and MyEG websites allow foreign motorists to create accounts using their passport numbers, check any outstanding summonses, and make payments right from their phones or computers. Malaysia has announced a phased approach to this enforcement. Between October 1 and December 31, 2024, foreign vehicles with unpaid fines will still be allowed entry and exit. However, starting on January 1, 2025, full enforcement action will be implemented. While further details of this new enforcement remain pending, one thing is clear, Singaporean motorists with unpaid fines may no longer be able to bypass these charges as easily as before. We at 2230 want to hear from you. How do you think this change might impact cross-border travel and the fines Singaporean motorists receive? Do you believe this will make Singaporean drivers more cautious? And, what are your thoughts on using technology like RFID tags for enforcement? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you found this coverage useful, be sure to give it a like, share it with friends who travel often, and don't forget to subscribe to 2230 for more news updates. Also, turn on notifications so you don't miss our latest stories. We'd love to hear your thoughts on whether this could be the start of a more organized approach to border traffic enforcement or if there are potential downsides to this high-tech monitoring. Would you support this technology if it were implemented here in Singapore?